So the final season of Demon Slayer was kind of insane. And not to mention that in this season, we've had so many things that have just happened and so much backstory given to us that I just wanted to sit here and talk about it. Okay, so the Hashira training arc kind of wrapped up just today and honestly it was probably one of the most hyped episodes i've ever watched of demon slayer in my life like in the previous seasons we've had pretty hyped moments but just watching muzon approach ubiyashiki like that cold opening was insane and once again hats off to the animators i mean they always do like a fantastic job but my god was it just like absolutely i just like goosebumps that entire scene between muzon and ubiyashiki and i'm not gonna lie the scene between them kind of did drag on a little bit i'm not gonna lie I did skip some parts. Just watching them have an interaction together, it feels like the series have been has been building up to that. And then when Ubi Yashiki does kind of stop yapping after like 15 minutes, they end up having this intense standoff and we see like all the Hashiras like kind of talking about Ubi Yashiki and then in comes like the one of the most beautiful animated scenes I've ever seen in my entire life, the explosion scene. The explosion scene honestly kind of took me off guard because obviously I knew it was kind of coming. I read the manga, I've always kept up with the manga so I knew it was coming but my god did they absolutely just nail it. Oh okay Tanjiro chill so yeah the explosion scene was actually really intense I'm really crazy and just seeing like the slow motion of just the explosion blowing up I don't know if they animated that full scene but if they did oh my god like hats off and then to top that all off we end up seeing like all the Hashira's reactions to the explosion which was really nice to see not to mention that when we do finally cut back to Ubiyashiki and Muzon you just see and you just end up seeing Muzon's like a burnt body and him regenerating just the introduction to Muzan has always been kind of insane, I'm not going to lie. And then to add salt into the wound, as soon as Muzan does regenerate, Tamayo goes on the offensive, which I didn't actually know Tamayo was that deadly. She instantly goes in with like all these blood brambles that Muzan just didn't see coming. I mean, he kind of did, but at the same time, he got caught off guard. And then to top that all off, she ends up giving him a drug that can turn demons back into humans. However, we know it's probably not going to work on Muzan. And then to add to that, Guillaume ends up finally showing up and we finally see Guillaume in action after all the hype. We've not actually seen Guillaume in action yet. We've only just seen that he's like kind of the strongest Hashira, but we finally get to see Guillaume in action and oh my god, they did not disappoint with Guillaume. He's one of like the coolest characters ever. Hold on, I'm just absolutely grinding out these ranks one sec. And then when Guillaume does finally arrive and then take on Muzan, all the other Hashiras start jumping in and you kind of see all the Hashiras reactions to it. You gotta remember none of the Hashiras have actually seen him like at all. So this is like their first time ever seeing him. The only one who's ever seen him is Tanjiro. So obviously Tanjiro, when he sees him, he's rightfully upset and angry. Damn, okay. Sabato, pop off. Sorry, I'm sort of playing Demon Slayer in the background. So of course, all the Hashiras go into attack. They all start using their breathing moves. And then we finally see Muzan pull up his uh, ace in the hole, I guess, where he pulls out the Infinity Castle trick. And this is where we finally see the full Infinity Castle. We kind of have had, always had it teased to us, but my God, Again, I, I keep talking about the animation, but just seeing the animation for like the Infinity Castle was absolutely mind blowing. Not to mention that we get to see everyone drop in it. We get to see all the Hashiras drop in there, Tanjiro, Muzan, and Tamayo. And then we finally catch up with Inosuke, who unfortunately didn't get to finish his food, but he seems really happy to be in the Infinity Castle fighting. <laughs> then we see Zenitsu with a cold look. Anyone who's read the manga kind of knows what's going to happen with Zenitsu, and he's going to have probably one of the best character arcs like in the entire show so i cannot wait to see that animated we also catch up with genyo who has his uh nitrine weapon on him which again that's a massive part of um the infinity arc so that's going to be really really good to see him go up against a, a certain somebody i mean if anyone wants to know if you don't want to know spoilers skip ahead to this time code now but i'm going to talk about spoilers um anyone who's read the manga will kind of know the insane character development that zenitsu is about to have not to mention like i don't know we're just going to see a whole other side to zenitsu and i cannot wait for that fight to be animated i mean i can't wait for any of the fights to be animated especially when it comes to upper one kokushibo versus Giome, genya and senemi and I guess Marichiro a little bit as well. And then uh, all the fights are just going to be great. But that kind of gets like into the next point I wanted to make is they're splitting the final arc up into movies, which 
I actually really like that decision because now not only we're going to see epic fight scenes, but we're going to see them on the big screen. So it's one of those things where it's like we're going to get to experience the Infinity Castle arc on like an actual full cinema screen, which man, they couldn't have chosen a better time to make some movies for the Demon Slayer. I don't quite know when they're going to come out. I hope it's not too long, but at the same time, if, if they're going to like hook with the animation like they did this season, then it's it's probably going to take a while. Honestly, just like looking back on the entire season itself, I'm really glad how they approached Sabato's and Giyu's arc and just showing the backstory between them. Obviously, Shinobu and Kane, Kane, I think it's Kaneo. Um, they had a little talk, which we didn't actually get to see, but that'll come back in the Infinity Castle arc. So we'll kind of see what they spoke about. Oh, how did I dodge that? Oh, I didn't dodge that though. So yeah, we didn't really see the conversation between Shinobu and uh, Kane. Or Kaneo. I can I can never remember whether the sister's called Kane or the um sister's called Kaneo. Uh I, I'm gonna say that her sister's Kane and the other one's Kaneo. But yeah, we never really see the conversation between Shinobu and Kaneo. So we'll probably see what they speak about in the Infinity Castle art, because it's gonna come up. It's gonna come up at a certain point. How they did Guillaume's backstory as well. Oh, so good, so good. I swear they always do the backstories really nicely. And after seeing Mo uh, Marichiro's backstory last season, I was excited for Guillaume's. Oh my God, Tanjiro, chill. So yeah, I really liked how they handed, uh, uh, handled the Hashira training arc. I mean, obviously they don't really disappoint with Demon Slayer, but I really thought the Hashira training arc was going to be quite a boring season because it is mostly kind of filler. We saw like a couple good action scenes, but it is mostly like just learning about the Hashira. It's mostly filler and also just the training part, but they've really handled it well. And the last two episodes being like 30 to 40 minutes long was a really good idea just so they could absolutely like show off everything they needed although like i said i think i think the most recent episode like the first like 10 minutes dragged on a bit the conversation between muzan and uba yashiki was a little long i would have I, I think it could have been shortened a little bit but i'm glad they had a super long conversation i mean it was their first time meeting also as well when tanjiro and giyu fall into the infinity castle make note why they're together because they're gonna fight a certain demon which yeah i cannot wait i just can't wait for the next season i imagine a lot of people are obviously in the same mindset especially if you have read the manga because if you know about what's going to happen next, you're probably just more excited for that to be animated. Who knows when the movies might end up coming out, but I know for a fact the second they do, it's going to be really, really good. And I imagine the amount of people that are going to go, depending on how well Demon Slayer does, they may genuinely start releasing more anime films into cinemas, uh, just because I think the Demon Slayer movies will do really, really well. With all the hype that has built up around it, it's good, probably going to do really, really good. So this entire video was just me rambling about the Demon Slayer finale. It was really good it was so so good and anyone who hasn't watched it yet i would highly recommend it i have if anyone does want to know more i have made a previous video on all the hashiras like stories um and put them in a tier list so if you want to watch that video uh click on the video on screen now